Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing an eyeliner and mascara tutorial. So that's why I kind of look finished over here, not so much over here. So anyway, so I have been getting some questions from friends of mine, from customers, from hair clients, from um, other Mary Kay consultants. How do you get your eyeliner and your mascara to not move throughout the day, especially when it's like a thousand and one degrees here in Alabama during the summertime. So I um, was talking with a bunch of my friends and they were like, oh my gosh, do a video, do a video. And I was like, okay. So, you know, I haven't been doing a video because I've been having all kind of craziness. So anyway, good news. Um, stomach issues are better. I have ulcers, which is not good, but they're treatable. So I'm very thankful that, you know, God allowed it to be something treatable and hopefully it will go away soon. And I'm feeling like a hundred times better than I was because I'm taking some new medicine and yeah, so God is good. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to start with what I do to like set the eye area. So I've already done all my makeup and powder and all of that, but I just wanted to show y'all that around the eye area, I do take a blending brush and I just kind of take powder and go up under the eye area and I'm going to do some more over here too and that way it does kind of brighten up and lift that under eye area but it also helps it to be prepared for any fallout that's going to happen while you're doing your makeup so that's one thing that and it also helps dry up any skin oils that are around your eye and it's not going to get rid of them or anything. And you don't want to put a lot of powder just a little bit. Because if you put a lot of powder, it's going to really make your skin wrinkle faster. So what I do is I just kind of go halfway. It depends on the day. Sometimes I do my eyeliner just a little bit on the bottom. Sometimes I do it all the way across. Today I won't do it all the way across. But this is how I do it to get it there. So does not have to be perfect. You see that's not perfect. So I take my little blending brush. This is called a eye detail brush. So it's a little small brush. You can see I've been using it. So I take the darkest color of brown that I used on my eyes and I just drag it right here under the underneath and I smudge. And then I keep smudging all the way across and it makes it not quite as dark now sure you could use brown eyeliner smudge it with brown and that's totally fine if you want to do that that is awesome I love that idea but I usually only use black just because I like the black and I smudge it with brown to kind of you know not be so intense and so I smudge that so then I take it and put it in some black eyeshadow and I come up here and just kind of pat it on my lash line and then I start to smudge it and especially on the lash line is where you want it to be because that is going to make your lashes look fuller one and two by smudging this whole line it's going to set it and keep it in place all day. So. And then there you go. So now that's how I set my eyeliner. So now the trick for, that's my trick for my eyeliner. So my trick for, and I'm going to really quickly just kind of, if it gets to be a little bit too much, I just kind of take my finger and smudge it like that a little bit. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So my trick for my um, mascara is lash primer. So lash primer is just clear. Sometimes it'll look white, but usually it's clear. Um, and it just goes over the lashes. Just like mascara. And that literally keeps your mascara from smudging, from running, from, you know, being crazy. So, I haven't noticed this one over here. There we go. So, that's what I use. So I let it dry for just a minute. 
and then um, and feel free to comment below if you do have any questions I would love to answer them and if you have any ideas on what I should film next or what products you would like to learn about or what whether it's skincare or makeup or how you do your eyes or contour or blush or whatever I will take any questions so all right so I've let my um, eyeliner dry I, it, I, I rotate the days like sometimes I do my bottom lash line first sometimes I do my top lash line first with mascara or my top lashes not lash line but lashes it just depends so today I'm gonna do my bottom ones first and I don't really think it matters one way or the other but I'm gonna do the bottom ones first so this is the um, Fanorama Lash Love Mascara so and I take the um, flat side of it not see that's the curvy side I take the flat side hopefully y'all can see that and I just coat it like that and then I love it because it separates them gives them some volume gives them some oomph and it's not too much so then I let that dry for a second and that's when I take the opportunity to clean up my little makeup area over here so I'm so excited I just got back from the beach so this is the last day of August so we went this past weekend and it was so much fun like when I say we had the best time with Mary Kay we had the best time so it was a bunch of me and my Mary Kay girlfriends and you know we we just had the best time and you know it was a short trip but it was just enough like it was perfect so I, I'm just so thankful that I got to go okay so now I'm gonna do the top lash line and I'm going to comb it on with the shorter side this is the lash intensity mascara I'm gonna comb it on with the shorter side and I do do several coats and then I comb it out with the long side And so, and then I usually put it in again, put it in a little tube again, and then I come back and coat it a few more times. And so that's how I do my mascara. And you always want to go like with them. Like these go forward out, these go to the side out, these go to the side out. And you just want to go with the way they are on your lashes because like you know it's going to help you make them look more full and I'm just adding a little bit over there so anyway so that way it's going to make them like you know like brush them where they go you know does that make sense I hope that makes sense that's what I always have done because it helps them look more fuller and that way you're not just trying to force them to go in one direction so there is my lashes hopefully y'all can see that and then I'm gonna kind of do it to the side and do it to the side hopefully y'all can see all that so that is how I keep my eyeliner mascara from running or tripping or smudging during the summer and then after I get done I just kind of take this big brush and just kind of all the extra powder I just kind of you know get rid of so well, all right, y'all. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. Um, and comment below what you would like me to do next week. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, Snapchat. Um, I have a page, a page on Facebook. So, Instagram is Victoria Miss Fabulous, all one word, and hair and makeup by Victoria, all one word. Um, TikTok is Victoria Miss Fabulous, all one word. It's all lowercase on all of those I just said and then snapchat is Tori period fab 18 if you want to add me on snapchat and then I'm Victoria Talbert on Facebook I am living victoriously and hair and makeup by Victoria on Facebook pages so all right well I hope that this helped and I hope that y'all learned something from this and I really love this look I just love a good brown neutral eye because I love a good pop of lips. So, 
All right, well, y'all have a great day. Make it a great week, and I will see y'all next time.